Cisco ACI multi-site and multi-pass solutions can interconnect multiple Cisco ACI fabrics that can be geographically apart. In combining F5 Big IP DNS and LTM solutions, we can best utilize the network infrastructure to improve application performance and provide application resiliency across data centers. We can enhance our user application experience by delivering application services efficiently to the users based on their geographical locations. In this example, users in Boston can access the application locally instead of traveling across the country to access the application in a data center in Los Angeles. In case of an unexpected event, for example, the data center went down due to a power outage or if it became a breachable due to a network down issue. F5 Big IP DNS and LTM solutions can continue application delivery by redirecting applications requests to the next available data center so that the application can continue to be available with no downtime. F5 Big IP DNS provides tiered global server load balancing, GSLB. It resolves a DNS request for a fully qualified domain name, FQDN, also known as wide IP, and returns an IP address of a virtual server, also known as VIP, that can reside across data centers. Traffic source from the client will then go through the F5 Big IP LTM, which owns the select the VIP in the DNS response, and then to an associated real application server that can be in the same data center or a different data center as the Big IP LTM. Based on this workflow, there are key network design considerations when we integrate F5 Big IP DNS and LTM in Cisco ASI multi-site or multi-pod environment. One is the communication between Big IP DNS and LTM, which is via iQuery, a F5 proprietary protocol. It is important to establish communication between Big IP DNS and LTM for information exchange so that Big IP DNS can always respond with the best available VIP across data centers from a DNS request. The other one is the application traffic through Big IP LTM. It is important to remember that F5 Big IP LTM is a stateful device and we need to ensure both directions of traffic will go through the same Big IP LTM. Otherwise, the traffic will be dropped. DSR Direct server return is an exception, which doesn't have such requirement and is not covered in our conversation. There are multiple options to integrate Big IP DNS and LTM into ACI multi-site and multi-pod. It is important to understand both network and application requirements so that you can derive a possible design that can satisfy them both. For example, how do the traffic flow between Big IP DNS and LTM for information exchange? Is there a firewall in between them? Which high availability options for Big IP LTM are you planning to deploy? An independent active standby XA pair in each data center, or an active standby XA pair stretch across data centers, or others? How do we handle the return traffic to ensure both directions of traffic are through the same big IP LTM in the same data center? Are you planning to use SNET, Source Network Address Translation, or PBR, Policy-Based Redirect, or neither? These are just some sample questions that can help you to get started so that you can better understand the requirements. To learn more on how you can successfully integrate F5 Big IP LTM and DNS in Cisco ACI Multisite or Multipod, please check out Cisco ACI Multisite Multipod and F5 Big IP Design Guide, which is a white paper journey developed by Cisco and F5 and is available on www.cisco.com and www.f5.com. Thank you for watching.